January 2016, Tata Motors had invested $82 million into the launch of Zika, its newest car. Everything was in place for a massive marketing and media launch. Tata Motors were prepared for everything. Then, only two weeks away from the official launch date, the deadly virus took hold. Everything we look at with this virus seems to be a bit scarier than we initially thought. The name of that virus. Breaking headline about the Zika virus. Zika. Zika virus. Zika. The Zika virus. Tata Motors' brand new car now shared its name with a mass murderer on a global scale, and they were facing a massive problem. With just two weeks to avoid catastrophe, every second counted. Working from the inside that people feel most emotionally connected to things they create, Tata Motors put all their cards on the table and announced that it simply wasn't right, bearing in mind the human tragedy and mass hardship caused by the Zika virus, for a socially responsible company to continue with the planned name. And then they went one step further and asked everyone for their help. It invited people from 22 countries to come up with a new name. They were to become the decision makers. People could then suggest their name ideas through every social media channel imaginable. The support was overwhelming, with 37,000 new names suggested in just three days. 48 million people from all over the world wanted to have their say, and Tata asked them to finally vote on the three names they liked the best. And so, Tiago was born. The car that should have been killed by the virus that shared its name went on to become the largest Tata Motors launch in the last decade. What was probably the biggest hurdle in the history of any car launch was spectacularly overcome. <laughs>